Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Pokes with Channel. Hey, this just came in today, and uh, boy, this one really sounds nice. It's the, the AF75D. It's kind of a soft, vintage, soft, kind of a cool looking orange, and really a very attractive guitar. Looks really, really great. It's got a couple very minor imperfections cosmetically, but it looks great. I think I see one little scratch here in the back, and there's a little ding, uh, a couple little marks on the back, and just a couple little minor things. There's something else somewhere, but I mean, it does not have a pick guard. Boy, this guitar really sounds good. Listen, listen to this guitar, and I'm just using this solid state amp. Some of these 75s don't sound this good. They sound kind of blah. This one really sounds nice. sound so good why don't they make a video like I do because it because they don't really believe in the guitar <laughs> that's what I think this really has a nice sound like I said it even sounds nice for oh you know a little bit of over now it's got half flat and half wound so you'll even get a better tone for overdrive if you put regular strings on it and it will still sound great for jazz too though but that's that's with the half and half strings. No, I bar I barely have any volume on my amp at all too. I barely have this up at all, so that that's something to consider as well. Um, like I said, but yeah, this this is really a, a lot of guitar, you know, for three twenty nine. Kind of has some of that kind of holds for it. And that, that's with a little more. Here's less. Yeah, this has got a really beautiful mid range. But like I said, yeah, it's got a beautiful, beautiful hollow body sound as you can hear. But these are half and half, so which means they're half flat wound and half round wound. But to my ear, this guitar sounds like an expensive guitar. You gotta understand, folks. I say this over and over again. Guitars vary greatly from guitar to guitar, even the same make, even the same model. I've played these at music stores that just sound really dull and compressed, and then like this one, who I got from a friend of mine, just sounds beautiful. Nice setup. It just has a nice sound. I'm using an amp I paid 150 bucks for. It's an old PV solid state, old, old PV from the 80s solid state stereo chorus. I paid 150 for so. But yeah, this, these pickups sound great. And if you can use a great guitar, you don't want to spend much. This would be this would do it for you. Like I said, it's got And then here's with a little less. Yeah, that's a nice guitar. So I'm gonna make this a short video. If I had 
I wouldn't even mind keeping this guitar. It's, it's a really nice guy. I think I would just put some 11s on it, though. But yeah, even with the half and halves, I'm surprised how good it sounds on this. I guess I'm not warmed up at all, so... It gets a great overdrive. Here's less overdrive. But yeah, it's got a beautiful clean sound. And uh, again, I'm just using an old solid state. great like I said it's got a, it's got two or three little really minor imperfections I can't even find them right now could probably stand a cleaning but I mean it's a beautiful looking guitar looks really really nice on, on the wall for some reason I think that like I said it's it's, it's going to be hard to show this color in pictures and even the video but it's kind of a soft kind of a soft subdued deep orange it's not like a bright bright orange yeah there's a couple scratches right here like I said there's a couple little holes where the pick guard is I think it looks really nice without the pick guard though Man, this is really a nice one, and I'm not kidding. I've, I've played these at stores. They, they just sound dull. They just don't, they just don't have much uh, mid-range. You can even, you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but you can even hear this unplug. But yeah, you put a little volume in this, and it just has a gorgeous... If you want to email me, Steve Zook, the number seven, not spelled out, Steve Zook7 at yahoo.com. If you want to call me, 714-548-0385. If you want to try cycle one in the guitar letter system, send me an email, Steve Zook, the number seven, not spelled out at yahoo.com. I'll send you cycle one, which is this one here. Boy, it sounds, this is really a nice sounding guitar. It's like, People have to understand there's so many variations. I mean, the wood, sometimes the wood could be a little older. Maybe it was treated better. Maybe it laid around the forest a little bit longer. This is really a nice guitar. It's a lot of guitar for 329 folks. And uh, like I said, it is available. Plays great. Nice setup. The pickups sound really strong on this. I don't know if, if they're... You gotta understand there's variations. There's just lots of variations in guitars. This one was put together really, really, really well. It really sounds good. It's really barely been played too. Like I said, it's got it's got half and halves on it. They, they feel like a set of 12s. I think if I was gonna have this guitar, I'd just put on some 11s. Anyway, it's available. It really has a nice sound. All right, folks, take care. For uh, If you wanna try Cycle 1, the guitar letter system, uh, email me, stevezook7, not spelled out, 7, 7 at yahoo.com. If you want to order the guitar letter system, stevesatguitars.com. Take care. Bye-bye.